Something that I think a lot of people don't talk about is the loss of identity that comes after you face significant trauma. The loss of identity that you face when you're a stay-at-home mom, when every day is the same. Every day you are on call 24 seven and you have to take care of someone else all the time, but you also have to take care of yourself to heal from said trauma that you've experienced. Some days it's so hard for me to get in the shower and do all of the bare minimum things that I need to do in order to feel better. It's hard to take care of myself when I'm busy taking care of everyone else. And over the last few years, I have kind of slowly lost who I am and questioned everything. Am I making the right decision with this? Am I making the right decision with that? What should I do for my content? I need to be creative. I need to inspire other people and help other people and make the content that I used to and get back to that. Or maybe I need to change my content completely. My brain tells me 24 seven that it doesn't even matter in the end. Even though I'm out of fight or flight mode, it's still so loud in my brain every single day. I'm waiting for the next bad thing to happen. I'm waiting for my life to immediately change. There's been so much change in my life and I'm not afraid of it, but it is exhausting. Sometimes just having sunflowers and other fresh flowers in the house, it's something different because every day I look at the same walls, I wash the same dishes, I sit in the same car pickup line, I do all the same things, I make the same meals, wear the same clothes, day in and day out. I really believe that small things lead to bigger things and I'm trying to spend my day and my life with intention and purpose. Even though I know that the system is set up for women to fail because there's no way that we could do everything that we are supposed to do. Work full time, take care of the house full time, kids full time. While I'm grateful to be able to stay home with my babies, it is very hard. And I think that stay at home mom depression is a real thing that people don't talk about. I once felt so creative and motivated and inspired and all of you guys inspired me to continue my journey online, to continue to be so vulnerable and open that now six years later with everything that's happened, all of the chaos and twists and turns, I don't know if it was the right decision. With the channel that I'm about to close down for good, that once had over a million subscribers is failing and i have to recognize that admit that and move forward it's been hard to convince myself that i can even have a successful career online anymore and i know that i can and i know that i can definitely change this around and it's just one of those things that happen you know the curse of the gold plaque and that doesn't absolve me from responsibility or accountability i think that i have been so ignorantly vulnerable and so honest that a lot of people don't like it. I have to push myself every day to get over all of the things that happened. I have to grieve the, the life that my kids never had because of their father. I have to grieve the life I never had. And even though I am in a happy and safe relationship two years out of escaping domestic violence, there are still moments where I'm so angry and I believe all of the things that the narcissist and his flying monkeys have spent years trying to convince me of that 
I have a stupid little YouTube channel and that it doesn't matter and the content doesn't matter and I will forever be a felon. I will forever be a junkie and I'll never make it in the corporate world and I won't do any of the things that they have done. I'm not good enough. I'm from nothing. I'm from nowhere. And these are the lies that I've been told for years and years to unpack that and push forward even in the face of failure is something that is very difficult for me my life has completely changed it used to be where i would get seven hours a day alone my kids were in school my partner did not work from home and it was just me and i was able to kind of have those long periods of time just alone and that's how i recharge and i'm so grateful for my now fiance and his daughter my bonus baby but it is chaos all the time with three kids and becoming an overnight mom of three has been a struggle He's a good partner and a good father, but that doesn't mean that my days are without challenges and without struggle. Just like all of our days are not going to be without challenges. One minute I'm so tired and overstimulated that I just can't stand it. And I feel like there are a bunch of people screaming inside of my head. There are days where I can't even get the motivation to do basic things, even though I'm telling myself, get the fuck up and do something. I'm trying to eat healthier and drink water and be on time for everything and get to all the appointments on time and keep the house clean and make sure that I am gentle and soft as a mother, even though I've gone through so much hell. I'm trying my absolute best to show up online day in and day out because this is my job and I hope that one day I will finally have that spark again and I will be excited to make content. Some days I fake it most days I fake it and it's been a long time since I was genuinely just really excited to film content the internet is so heavy and the internet is so negative healing from trauma and abuse takes a very long time and when you spend almost a decade in survival mode fight or flight mode it is really hard to re-hardwire your brain to let you know you're safe it's hard to struggle with nightmares and flashbacks because your brain can't differentiate between now and then. Your brain, when you have a flashback, you literally think it's happening right now. Logically, you know that it's not, but it's difficult for your brain to differentiate between the past and the present in those moments of extreme stress and PTSD. All I know is that doing small things lead to bigger things and i love you guys so much thank you for continuing to follow my journey and allowing me to trauma dump on you for a while please subscribe if you have not done so already and i will see you in my next one